have this Buddha that I'm trying to sell. I thought Buddha was fat. <laughs> <laughs> there is the happy Buddha, which has a really big belly. <laughs> but anyone who becomes enlightened is a Buddha. So there's been hundreds, if not thousands, of Buddhas. Oh. Where in the hell did you get this? A friend of mine gave it to me. It's a housewoman gift. I bet you were pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I received this Buddha as a housewoman gift, and I'm not a Buddhist. I have a lot of stuff in my house, and I'm not really attached to it. I saw a Buddha similar to this, and it was selling for $10,000, and that's what I'm asking for. I'll tell you what, I'm definitely intrigued. It looks like Tibetan Buddhism. The Tibetans were the ones who were like super stylized like this. All the jewelry, the nice hair, everything else like that. Do you know much about it? No, they, I think they, they got it from a garage sale. OK. It doesn't surprise me, because in World War II, we did have some people in China. Some of the stuff was brought back. In the early 50s, the Chinese invaded. They took over the country. So Tibet is um, nothing like it used to be. Most of the stuff that was in Tibet after the invasion is gone. That's why the stuff is getting harder and harder to find. It looks right, OK? Yeah. I don't know when this was made. It could be 50 years old. It could be 200 years old. You got a bunch of little spots where the gilding yeah. came off, and you have a uh, I'm assuming it's brass underneath. You, you were looking to sell it? Yes. How much do you want for this? Uh, $10,000. And how did you come up with that number? I saw it online. Uh, it was a similar item going, going for that price. I actually have a friend who's a college professor that has studied this stuff his whole life. Let me get him in here and have a look at it. It's one of these things I do not have near enough knowledge about this thing to figure out what it's worth at the yes, moment. Yes, I understand, yeah. Okay. So hang out here for a little bit, um, shop around. I'll be right back. Okay. This Buddha is called Avalokiteshvara. And Avalokiteshvara means one who looks down. You, you see these multiple heads. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is perfect to the mythology because this Avalokiteshvara has so much compassion for humanity. He's listening in all the 10 worlds. And they believe that above our head, there's 10 more worlds. And so this guy is listening to all your frustrations, all your prayers. And that's why this mythological form is so you know, cherished by those people. This particular form is called a bodhisattva. A bodhisattva is someone who becomes enlightened but comes back into the world to help everybody. So it's a very particular, unusual form. Well, we, we know it's a real Buddha. Oh, yeah. But we just, I mean, how old is it? What's it worth? Condition-wise, is that going to be a problem? Looking at this, the condition it's in, I'm going to pitch the age about 1750, in the 1750s. And uh, I'm going to say that, you know, I have seen these on the auction block in England going from 10 to 15,000 bucks because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I, it really uh, is so old and it's in such good condition. Well, thanks, man. You're oh, the best. You're, you're so welcome. Thank you, guys. Have a see good you, day. Man. To see that particular item, it was amazing. Something very ancient and basically from a culture that has been pillaged. So even when you go to Tibet, you don't see that quality of a Buddha anymore. Well, damn. You know, uh, it looked old and everything to me, but I thought your price was absolutely nuts. Uh, <laughs> it, it, what's your best price on it? I uh, want well, 10000 I am thinking closer to six. No. Uh, okay. Uh, he just said I can get maybe 10 grand at auction. Okay. If I give you 10 grand, there's no money to be made. I will give you 7,500. I will not give you a penny more. That is the best I can do. And, and realize, okay, I am taking a serious shot at this. I mean, if this, I put this in an auction, it only goes for 10 grand, I'm going to break even. But at 7,500 bucks, that's the end of my game. Oh, okay. All right. I, I'll accept that. All right. Um, I'll meet you right up there and we'll, come on, follow me. We'll do some paperwork. All right. I'm settling on 7500 because this was a gift and it's a complete profit for me. I'm taking this $7,500 and I'm going shopping. <laughs> <laughs>